What is up, YouTube? It's Morning here, and I'm here with another video for you guys today. This time, I've got another drink review. So, we've got an Uptime Energy. Um, it's this new energy that I, or energy drink that I found in 7-Eleven. There was only one of them, oddly enough. Um, so, I literally bought the last one in the entire store. I think someone had gone in there and just grabbed them all before I had gotten there. But, so, this one is a pretty interesting one, mostly because of the uh, supplements. On the back, just to list off a few, we've got five calories, so this is a low-calorie energy drink. Um, one gram of carbs, it's got vitamin C and 15% vitamin C in the form of ascorbic acid. 12% calcium in the form of calcium citrate. It's got 40 milligrams of potassium, so that's 1% of your daily value. Um, 142 milligrams of caffeine, so that's 18 milligrams less than a monster, a, a original monster, a green one. Um, it's got, okay, so this is where it gets interesting, some of these uh, ingredients it's got in it. Taurine, angelica root extract, panax ginseng extract, and here's where they start to get weird. Ginkgo, ginkgo biloba extract, I don't know what that is, but apparently it adds to the energy. Um, it's got bee pollen extract in it, so it's legitimately, it's got pollen in it. Uh, so I don't know if that would affect people with any sort of pollen allergies, but if, um, <laughs> yeah, if, if you, uh, if you're allergic to pollen, I would probably try and stay away from this drink. Um, I don't, maybe do some research on it. I'm not completely sure on if that would affect you or, at all or not. It's got go-to cola extract, another thing that I'm not sure what it is. It's got coenzyme co Q10. That's another one that I'm not sure what it is, but I'll definitely I'll definitely be looking up uh, Gink Gink Go Biloba Go To Cola and Cohen's MQ10. I'll do a video on what exactly those are some other time. Um, other ingredients: filtered carbonated water, natural flavors, citric acid, potassium benzoate, which is a preservative, potassium sorbate, another preser another preservative, and sucralose. So it's got sucralose in it. So, and by the way, this is the um, sugar-free version. So. Uh, for those of you who don't like artificial sugars, you might want to avoid this. Um, they do have a uh, they do have one that's not sugar free, but I don't know if it contains real sugar, um, artificial sugar, or if it contains um, high fructose corn syrup. So I'm not completely sure on that. Anyways, so let's go ahead and take a sip. So we've got 12 fluid ounces, and we are gonna go. Got us some mental plus physical energy. Me. Turn this thing on. It kind of smells like orange. It's got kind of a 7-Up, like, it's got a Sprite flavoring, but it's... It's not as strong. I don't know. So, like, you know how Sprite is really, really bubbly, and whenever you drink a Sprite, it's... I want to say... What's the word I'm looking for where the uh, drink is like, oh yeah, extremely carbonated. So this is not quite as carbonated as a Sprite, but it's got the same flavoring. But I have I get the feeling that like whenever you drink a Sprite, the carbonation kind of in intensifies the flavor. So the carbonation in this drink isn't quite as extreme. Um, let's see what the, it's kind of, it's got a yellowish color by the way. Let's pour it into a cup so we can see what the actual color itself looks like. By the way guys, if you do buy this drink, keep in mind you probably won't have a hand if you're done trying to open the bottle. It's got, um, the lid has like little ridges in it or whatever that it, that are attached to this. It's, yeah. I was very tempted to get a knife and just try and cut the ridges apart, but I finally got it open. Okay. So. It's actually more of a clear liquid. I'm not sure if that's just the bottle. I mean, I'm not sure if that's just the glass, but in, a, in this glass, it looks more clear. And then here, it looks a little bit more yellow. So I'm not sure if that's the inside of the container that's making it like that, or if it's the inside of the cup that's changing it from yellow to clear. I'm not completely sure on that. So I don't know. But yeah, it's a pretty good drink, honestly. Like, this might actually, if they restock the shelves, might actually become one of my favorites. Um, I'll definitely, I'll be buying, if I get the chance to, I'll be buying one of the ones that aren't, one of the um, 
ones with sugar in them. I'll be trying to buy one of those so I can do a review on that as well. Anyways, guys, this was a good drink. Um, I'm going to try and come up with a scale for my drinks. Probably like, you know, bad or absolutely terrible, terrible, uh, bad, medium, decent, or all right, decent, and good, and then super good. Yeah, I'll try to come up with a scale of some sort. I would do a 1 out of 10 scale, but I find it's just kind of, I don't know, kind of boring, you know? And it doesn't really say much. Like, you give someone a number, like, oh, yeah, here's your number. But yeah. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you did. And I will see you guys next time on my next video when I have no idea when that's going to be uploaded. Actually, my next video will probably be uploaded here in... Well, I have a video uploading right now. I'm recording this one. And I'm going to record another drink review after this. That way, I wanted to uh, separate the videos. That way, they, this one video, that way it wasn't too long. So, yeah. I've got quite a few coming up. Anyways, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.